What's up everybody, this is my 08 Jigsaw 600, traded my 07, wanted to start fresh, so I got my Akrapovic full Evo titanium exhaust system right there with the shorty carbon fiber slip-on. Uh, here you go, there's the stock exhaust, it's freaking ugly, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that, and this is going to be kind of a video tutorial, this is my first time, second time doing an exhaust on a Suzuki but this is a full system with headers and everything so it's going to take a little bit more time but all in all make sure you have your exhaust over there you got your instructions you got all your your parts that you need and step one is going to be getting rid of this bolt and you come over here and there's a bolt right there you got to get rid of that so get rid of that once you get those two bolts this whole thing should probably pop off Hold on one second. Mm. Yeah, baby. So that pops off. All right, set that piece of garbage aside. And that leaves this thing. Definitely need to get rid of that. And what we're going to do, we'll get rid of that. There's going to be a bolt behind here so we need to take this uh, right bearing off so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so yeah next step is to remove uh, this bolt right here and on the back side on this other side there's gonna be about one or two bolts so get rid of those as well make sure you take your seat off that out pop your gas tank so you'll be able to get to this uh, set valve thingamajigger with the actuator uh, or the gyro thing and pop your side fairing off so you can get to the headers once you get your right fairing off and the left fairing off and the bolts out of the back side or the other side take out those two screws right there and there and disconnect the lambor I don't know what they call it but it's some sensor so disconnect that Okay, you can see the sensor was removed and these cables was removed. The next step that you want to do is take your radiator, uh, take your whole radiator out. There's going to be a screw right there, one on the other side, and then obviously the one right there. I highly recommend that you take your radiator out. Also there's a fan plug that you need to unplug highly recommend taking that out because you're going to have a lot easier work to get these bolts out on the headers I tried to do it uh, without taking the radiator out and I was only be, be able to get that one screw right there but getting to these other ones you're going to have like no room to work so pull the radiator and then use a five millimeter allen so what I like to do is kind of take the five millimeter allen and so here's an allen of course everybody knows what an allen looks like okay so put the allen up in there like that and then I take my wrench the circle end and I kind of insert it this way and then I just pull as hard as I can so something well it dropped but anyways you put it up there and then use the wrench as leverage to pop it loose and these are a real bitch so prepare for some uh, intense pulling so yeah once you have successfully removed the headers and everything that's what it looks like no exhaust at all down here nothing and stock exhaust and headers look like this all a bunch of garbage right there yep and now we are going to replace it and there's all the coolant. Oh yeah, make sure you get a bucket to put all the coolant in from the radiator that it's going to drain out. So here's the new titanium headers and the exhaust and we'll be putting that on shortly. Alright, here's what the new headers look like installed. Look pretty good. Um, the best way to do this is to get the flange and the inner uh, inner sleeve here up 
into the motor here and then connect the bolts and then hand tighten them then bring your tubes your exhaust tubes and shove them up up in there and get them as tight as you can or get them as far in there as you can then attach the springs there's little holes here and just clamp them down and after you do that then it's when you can uh, torque them to spec so get a torque wrench and this is a six millimeter so that bolts six millimeters someone told me it was a five millimeter but yeah that didn't work so it's a six millimeter for me and the torque spec is sixteen point five foot pounds and just make sure you do like a quarter turn and then each one just do quarter turn each one until it it's torque to spec and also make sure when you are attaching these tubes here that you coat uh, a thin layer of the uh, I don't know what this is anti-seizing grease so put a thin layer around the inside of this and then attach your tubes and attach the springs along with it and yeah next what you want to gonna do is get the foot peg that they send with and attach it uh, behind this foot peg here so pull those two screws put it in the normal spot torque it back down uh, 18 foot-pounds and next what you're going to do is add this uh, you're going to add comes with these this little clamp thing you're going to add it to this guy right here and then you're going to fit this up here make sure you use the grease or you can do it on the inner side and then get your exhaust put up there bolt it down uh, right here you're also going to want to have to put your strap over this before you tighten it down and yeah